hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x plus 3 whole square is equals to x square and we solve this problem for the values of x so here we find all the roots of x uh, and now you see here this is quadratic equation but not into the standard form so here first we convert this quadratic equation into the standard form and at the last we can uh, just solve this equation uh, for the values of x and so here we solve this problem for two methods and i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so uh, here the very first thing we are going to do is here first we move this x square in the left hand side and it will be written as uh, x plus 3 whole square this is positive term it, it will becomes minus x square and this whole equation equals to uh, 0 so now here uh, in order to convert this equation into the standard form here first we need to use here this nice algebraic formula uh, you know that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so this is our nice formula so according to this formula we can write our above equation as in this form so here you see that the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so here our a is x plus 3 and now here in the first factor we have a minus b uh, here our a is x plus 3 minus b is x only into a plus b so we have our a is x plus 3 and plus b is x and this whole equation equals to 0 and now further in the next step uh, we need uh, to simplify the terms uh, so here you see that this is negative and positive term are gone and here we get only 3 and from here we have x plus x is equals to 2x plus 3 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now further in the next step we divide uh, both of the sides by 3 so that when we divide both of the sides by 3 it will be written as in this form uh, so because we divide both of the sides by each of these terms by 3 so you see here this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 and after cancellation these terms we obtain here 2x plus 3 is equals to we know that 0 over something is equals to 0 so because we solve this problem for the values of x uh, that's why we move all the other terms from right hand side and here we have this is 2x is equals to this is plus 3 when we move in the right hand side it will becomes here minus 3 and uh, here uh, in order to find the value of x we need to eliminate this 2 from left hand side for this we divide both of the sides by 2 okay again we divide by 2 on both of the sides each of these terms and you see here this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and uh, we get here our x is equals to uh, from here you see that uh, this will be written as minus 3 over 2 so this is the our uh, final value of x in this problem uh, and now in the next step we again solve this problem for a second method and now in second method we need uh, to first uh, copy down uh, our given question statement here uh, so that our given question statement is x plus 3 whole square is equals to x square this is our uh, given question statement and uh, now in the second method we apply here an other algebraic formula so according to uh, this formula we know that if we have a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square so we apply this formula in the left hand side of the above equation so after applying this formula we write our above equation as this is x plus 3 whole square after applying this formula it will be written as x square plus 2 times of x into 3 and plus 3 square is equals to x square and now further in the next step uh, we have uh, we need uh, to simplify the terms and 
uh, here we will get x square plus this is 2 times of 3 becomes 6x and this 3 square is equals to 9 and when we move this x square in the left hand side it will becomes minus x square and this whole equation equals to 0 and here we solve this problem for the values of x so that you see here this is the positive term and this is the negative term are gone and we get the remaining values are 6x plus 9 is equals to 0. So in the next step uh, we, we need to move this plus 9 to the right hand side and it will be written as 6x is equals to minus 9 and for the values of uh, uh, x we need to divide both of the sides by 6 okay here we divide both of the sides by 6 in this way on each of these terms and now you see here this 6 is cancelled out by this 6 and we get here x is equals to here we need to cancel these two terms by uh, the table of 3 you see here 3 3 is a 9 and 3 2 is a 6 and we get here x is equals to minus 3 over 2 so uh, this is the value of x and you see here from both of these methods uh, we will get here the same value of x and now in the next step we need to verify this value of x so for a verification of this value uh, here we again need to copy down our given question statement here our given question statement is x plus 3 whole square is equals to x square and we find the value of x is equals to minus 3 over 2 so here we verify this value of x uh, so that in order to verification of this value we need to uh, substitute this value on both of the sides of the above equation so when you put this value here it will be written as minus 3 over 2 plus 3 whole square is equals to minus 3 over 2 and its whole square and now uh, in the next step we need to take the LCM of this term and its LCM is 2 so you see here this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we will get here minus 3 plus this will be written as 3 times 2 times of 3 becomes here 6 and its whole square is equals to this is minus 3 over 2 and minus 3 square is equals to 9 divided by 2 square is equals to 4. So uh, here in the left hand side here we can check that is our left hand side is equals to 9 over 4 or not for this here you see that minus 3 plus 6 is equals to plus 3 over 2 and its whole square and we check that is this equals to 9 over 4 or not. And also you see here uh, 3 square is equals to 9 and 2 square is equals to 4 and you clearly see that 9 over 4 is equals to 9 over 4 and uh, this shows that the value of x is equals to minus 3 over 2 is satisfied our given question statement and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.